Peggy 12. It's December 1989, in the desolate forests and hills of the Swedish countryside. A month has passed since the population vanished overnight, replaced by hostile machines that shoot anyone on sight. You've explored the grim open world alone and with friends, sticking to the shadows to scavenge for equipment and weapons in your attempt to stay alive. Like us, you fled when you've been seen and only through clever tactics have you managed to take down a few machines. During your travels, you've started unraveling the mystery behind Phoenix. And it has now led you to Himfjell, an unexplored island off the east coast. It seems to be covered in machines even more lethal than before. But you're also finding new weapons and something perhaps more valuable. Those of us who managed to survive. Together, we might yet find the answers we seek. Welcome to Sweden. It's November 14th, 1989, and you're about to get a closer look at the open world of Generation Zero. In Generation Zero, you play as a young adult returning from an island excursion together with friends. Upon reaching the mainland, you discover the world abandoned with no other people around. Worse yet, you find yourself hunted by a mysterious force of deadly machines. Now you need to find out what has happened, while at the same time trying to stay alive, and eventually wage a guerrilla war against the machine invaders. Generation Zero allows you to create a unique 80s hero and play on your own or together with up to three friends in seamless co-op. You will explore a beautiful but dangerous open world where you constantly need to keep a lookout for enemies roaming while trying to find the equipment to survive and fight. The machines come in many types, sizes, and variations, constantly challenging you in new ways using different weapons and sensory equipment. Wear them down and disable their systems by pinpointing and taking out armor parts and components. Seize the upper hand by utilizing stealth, group tactics, or special equipment to distract or confuse the enemies. Use these in combination with objects in your surroundings to create traps and ambushes and turn a difficult fight into a winnable one. Should things go south, fleeing is a valid tactic. Since the machines are persistently simulated in the world, they will continue roaming if not killed. Whether you locate them minutes, hours, or days later, they will still bear the scars of your last encounter, waiting to finish the job. As you play Generation Zero, you will scour the open world for different weapons and upgrade your favorites with attachments like scopes and silencers. Take down powerful machines without damaging their parts, then scavenge those same components and use them to augment your weapons with high-tech enhancements. This will come in handy when fighting in different conditions. The dynamic day-night cycle and weather systems will not only impact your senses, but also the enemies, making for constantly evolving battles. You are free to explore the world at any pace and direction. And if you look closely, the world will tell the story of what has happened. The pieces of the puzzle are there for you to discover and figure out. Just remember that some answers come harder than others. It is 
it's impressive that you managed to survive this long. I am amazed at how quickly you adapt. Creativity is the greatest strength of humanity. If something you need does not exist in nature, you invent it. You kill me, I return stronger. We are building new cycles, aren't we? Nothing you do is logical. I am done being polite.